This video is recorded to help my students to understand how to do a test related to the linear correlation. The Lahr hypothesis is always low equal zero, which means there is no significant linear correlation. Autolevel hypothesis is always low or not equal zero, which means there is significant linear correlation. There are two methods to do so, one called critical value method. In this method, the test statistics is R, and the critical value is R equals square root of t square over t square plus m minus 2. So you need to compare this critical value R against this test statistic R. Well, we both call them R, kind of confused. Uh, P value method, you will the test statistic will be t equal r over square root of 1 minus r square over m minus 2. So notice this two formula, your book only has a second formula. However, if you solve the second formula for r, you will get the first formula. Okay. Then based on this test statistic, you can calculate the corresponding p-value, then compare with this p-value with the significance level to make your conclusion. Of course, small p-value, you will reject uh, large hypothesis, which means there is significant linear correlation. For large p-value, you fail to reject large hypothesis, which means there is no significant linear correlation. Let's say example. Listed left are the overhead weights in CM of sales measured from the photograph and the weight in kg of sales. Construct a scatter plot Find the value of the linear correlation coefficient and find the critical value of R using significance level 0 0.01. Is there sufficient evidence to conclude that there is a linear correlation between the overhead weights of cell from the photograph and the weight of the cell? So let us do it step by step. First, I want to construct a scatter plot. So what I'm going to do is, I will, for example, I do this, highlight all those area, then I uh, go to the chart, then I click on the scatter, I pick the first one, okay? Now, I will make it come down here. Then notice, uh, uh, if you lo look at this chart, he start from zero and zero, but you look more like his x-axis should start like about 7, then y-axis start from 100. So I need to format this uh, 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 vertical axis. So for example, I click on it, then I choose format axis. I can choose the minimum value start from 100. OK? So I click on OK. Now, then I click on this. Uh, horizontal axis, I right click it. Oh, it disappeared. Wait, wait a moment. Cancel it. I click on here, then I right click it. You click on format access. Then format access scale. I want to start from seven. Okay. Now this picture is uh, from uh, more clear, right? Now, you also can get rid of this weight if you wish to. You just right click it, you click on delete, so you don't have that. You also can uh, add uh, things here, like you add this kg, okay? So this picture is more like the picture in my stats lab homework, it asks you to choose, okay? After this, you can click on the data, then you right click it. It will say add a trend line. You can add a trend line. Now, in the trend line, after you add it, there is an option. You click on the option, you can ask it to display equation on the chart, display R squared value on the chart, then you click on OK. So now, this R squared value, if you take a square root, will be your R. So from here, now I can say r square equal 
I listed which is 0 0.79452. Then the R will equal uh, equal the square root of R square. Of course, is the square root of O 10, right? So that's what gave you 0 0.89135. Now, if I want to use uh, this critical value method, then I first need to calculate my t. t is the student t. So t will equal t uh, distribution. And uh, I will say 2t. How, how do we know use 2t? Because this is equal and not equal, so it's two-tailed, okay? It's two-tailed, then the probability is significance level, which is 0 0.01, and uh, your degree of freedom, you must use n minus 2. So your n here is 6, n minus 2 is 4, okay? That's the degree of freedom, is n minus 2. Now, in order to make it more... Uh, professional, maybe we can see that, we let n equal 6, so then here I change it to n minus 2, which is 0, 0.9 minus 2, well, this, in the future, if you change n, change all those r square, just still use the same uh, template, can do it. Now, then I want to calculate critical value. equal, maybe let me pull it down a little bit, okay, and the highlight of this become red, just feel like to do this, make it more clear. Now this critical value equal, I use this formula, okay, this formula is square root of t square, t, uh, t square is, which is O, 13 square, then divide by O 13 square plus n minus 2, which is O 9 minus 2. Okay, then take a square root. So that's your critical value. Now, uh, how do you make a conclusion? If you said this critical value is uh, great, uh, great than the R. You say the critical value is greater than the R. Or you can say R located in negative critical value and a positive critical value. So in this case, uh, what do you say? We fail to reject a large hypothesis. So there is no evidence to support that there is a linear uh, correlation, okay? This is used critical value method. Since uh, your R is less than this critical value, right? We fail to reject. <coughs> now, if you want to use p-value, what you will do? Since you already calculated R, then I need to calculate the test statistic. Test. This test statistic will equal, I will use this formula, which is R. R is in O11. No, R O11 divided by square root 1 minus R square. R square is O10. Then divide by O9 minus 2, okay? That's your test statistic. Based on this test statistic, I want to calculate the p-value. So p-value will equal, I will use equal t dot distribution dot 2t, okay? Then your x, which is test statistic, will be O uh, 16, no, 
17. Then degree of freedom is n minus 2, which is 0, 09 minus 2. Okay. Now this will equal uh, 0 0.0017. Now since your significance level is 0 0.01, so your p-value is greater than your significance level. P-value greater than significance level, that means I fail to reject the log hypothesis. Fail to reject the log hypothesis, which means there is low uh, evidence to support that there is a significant linear correlation. If you have any questions, please send me an email.